Welcome back. Today we are kicking tires again. We are at Paris RV here in Payson, Utah, and we are checking out this Columbus River Ranch. This is a super unique design. It's basically designed like a Class A motorhome, but it's fifth wheel. So let's go check it out, see what's new and improved and what's different on this thing. From the start, one of the things that stands out the most is all of the storage. It's all down here in these cargo bays, just like you would have on one of those Class A motorhomes. And it goes all the way through to the back and then up front, we have even more. That is an amazing amount of storage. Holy crap. You could fit kayaks and bikes and all sorts of stuff. One thing that really stands out with all these, swinging doors. And look at how thick these are. Nice, thick baggage doors. Good, solid locking mechanisms on them as well. And you can access all along this whole dang thing. Then you have this huge slide that it looks like the birds have been bombing, but huge slide on the side, really nice graphics. I like that it's not the swoops and swirls and all that sort of stuff. It seems like the industry is trying to go away from that a little bit. You still see it on a lot of the full body paint ones, but a lot of the graphics are going to this style. You can get this though with full body paint. And as you know, we love full body paint. So. If we were looking at this rig, I think it would go full body paint, but pretty dang cool. All right, let's go walk up to the front. Oh, that one's locked. <laughs> Even more storage. I always say I'm gonna bring a tape measure and I always forget to bring a tape measure whenever we do come kicking tires, but really cool. Wow, so much freaking room. Jeez. Yet again, side opening, not up here and not sticking out. So you hit your head on it. Really like how they've done these baggage doors. Got your bedroom slide coming out up here. Propane tank here, it's kind of standard. Your level up system. A really big awning going the whole length and you can get them with LED lights in them which is just a nice little ambiance thing you would never thought having that little LED strip up there when you have your awnings out at night it's really pretty nice you know you're towing a big boy when you get one of these flex air hitches comment below if you've ever towed with one of these to me, it seems like overkill and it's just another thing to wiggle or move. I don't know if you need this, but it seems like on all these bigger trailers, they're putting them. So maybe they work really, really well. Comment below. If you've used these, how do they work? What's your thoughts on them? To me, it's like, oh, it's another thing to break. Or I don't know if you really need this plus the suspension of your truck. Yeah. I don't know if it's overkill or not, but kind of cool. Big old hitch. Now, down this side, we have two really big slides. Right here, we have our weights. So, of course, we need to go through the weights, as always. And... All right, so this is one pound shy of 18,000 pounds loaded. Gross vehicle weight, 17,999. You're duly territory with this big boy. But, of course, with the amount of storage this thing has, of course, you're going to want a dually. And the payload capacity on this, 3866, so almost 4,000 pounds of payload, which is really good for a unit of this size. A lot of trailers don't have that much payload. Even some of the toy haulers don't. Coming down the side, you got your propane, of course, more access to all the storage. Right here, you have your battery disconnect, kind of handy right there. I, I don't know if I exactly like how these are just hanging. I wish they would have done a little bit cleaner job on that. This trailer, you can get it with Goodyear's. This one has Westlakes on it. This is an H rated tire. Should be a pretty good tire. But one thing that really stands out is Columbus has partnered with Moride, it looks like. And I am a huge fan of Moride suspension. For me, Moride's the best you can get. So I, I really like to see that on this trailer. All right, coming up. Right up here on the roof, you can see you have your three 
AC units. I really like that there's these low profile Coleman's. Plus, you have your two fantastic fan vents. So that's a quick walk around to the outside, showing off this Columbus River Ranch. But let's have Kara take you inside, show you the things that stand out in there. First off on this trailer, as we approach it, there's a huge set of stairs. Not only are the stairs big, but this door is not your average size door. It has to be one and a half times the usual size. Yeah, this door, at least one and a half times. Really cool. And when I say there's a lot of stairs, there's a lot of stairs to get up into this unit. Eight steps. <laughs> In the voice of my mother and my father, oh, just too many stairs. But once you're inside, there are no levels. No levels up to the living, no levels up to the sleeping. It's all flat. Pretty much like a class A motor home. And you can tell you're pretty high. Like it's almost like tree top level. <laughs> you wouldn't think the eight stairs would do that, but you can feel you're higher up in the trailer. Yeah, you definitely can. Looking at it, other trailers, going with that, I'm 5'2", I'm actually touching the ceiling. This might not be an option if you are a taller person. <laughs> Let's get into the tour of this unit. Right away, big open space, huge island right here in the middle, giving the cook ample amounts of room to work. Also giving the cook ample amounts of space and countertop in front and also in back by the range as well. To give you a perspective, Lots of room. So this is an arm plus. I'm leaning over to give you an idea of how deep this countertop is. Yeah. So this poster, let me tell you about it. It's showing all the specs for this trailer, which is really nice because sometimes we end up going home, looking up, you know, on the website, pulling up that model, did it have this? Did it have that? What were the options? But this is super nice to have right here for you to read, like the standards of it, climate control options, you know, the safety, the, the hitch, the tires, all of that. And also the construction, because sometimes we don't think about what's in our walls, what are they rated, what seasons is it friendly for, things like that. So that's a nice, nice piece of information on this board. And one thing we usually don't get into too much because it's not listed, the insulation. This has R38 floor insulation and R40 roof insulation. That's pretty good. I don't remember exactly what your parents have in their mobile suite, but it should stay a lot cooler and a lot warmer when you, when you want it cooler and warmer. Now that that's out of the way, let's get back to our tour. See this range, really, really nice. Four burner, giving you a small, medium, and two large on the options. Nice big oven. You can actually use your residential pans in this thing and not have to get the little dinky ones. Up top you've got, looks like just a microwave. Good cabinetry up top as well as lots below. There's ample amounts also in your island. More drawer space here with the self-closing on both sets. I just opened up this sink and there are many attachments to it. You are getting a pretty hefty cutting board. Pretty sure that one won't work on you. You're getting vegetable strainer or maybe a drying rack there. Not only that, you're getting this drying rack, but you're also getting an additional little sink so you don't have to fill your entire basin with water. A 
and then you have your main big sink. This thing's huge, like almost to my elbow deep. <laughs> Moving on over to our entertainment center, you have, you know, giant TV like always, sound bar, good sized speakers throughout, and of course your fireplace for heat and ambiance. So something we don't typically show in our tours, which we're gonna try and do a little more for you. Uh, after sleeping on my parents' hideaway the other weekend, um, we realized how awful some can be and how good some can be and kind of looking at the functionality of using a hideaway as well. So looking at this couch, it's a very long couch. However, it has a two compartment. This one has a two compartment. So if you really only needed one person, you can just pull out the one side. But if you needed a second person or possibly even three kids across here, then you can pull out the other side with it. You all right there, hon? A little awkward. There's one more leg. But there are a couple legs, which I probably should have started out with. And then it looks like I got to fill this hole somehow. So, ta-da. It's all padded. So for me, I'm currently not filling a bar. <laughs> but if you're a little bigger than I, you may fill bars. I think I could handle a night or two on this if I needed to. I think by far this is better than one of those folding ones where the mattress actually like is bending and folding and compressing. So this is, seems a lot better than one of those styles. On this side, you have your pretty much your standard recliners, a little power here and there. And then over to your dinette. Currently in the two chair position, you can make it a little bigger for a four chair. Has the double shades, which is nice if you're trying to cut light or if you need to block for nighttime. This unit has so much light on this side of the trailer. Basically wall to wall windows, giving you so much light in this unit. We currently have no lights on and you can pretty much function and do everything right now. I want to make a note that they are trying to go away from carpet on the slide portion. So this is more of like an outdoor rug weave style. So we'll see how that holds up in a few years. Coming on back, I did want to show you if you have maybe pets or little ones that you can gate off this area if need be. Control panels right here. Coming on down, you can step into your fairly large bathroom. Has a two entrance option for you. Double sink, as well as a, almost a two person shower, so big. Giving you the shower test, once again, five, two, almost have to reach but i can touch the ceiling should give you plenty of overhead space also lots of leg room around the toilet i want to point out the countertop in this bathroom it's super super deep like i'm leaning over having to reach the wall so much space right there Below cabinetry under each sink, a nice shelf space, a little drawer space here as well. Also behind the door, more storage space for you as well. Coming into the bedroom space, big old RV King in here. A uh, little bit of storage area, little pocket cabinet right there. On this side of the unit, you've got your 
hidden TV in here. You also got a little storage space and then your fireplace. Keep those toes warm at night. Coming on over to this side, you're getting a lot of closet space. Fairly wide, my arms reach of closet space, hanging space, cabinetry space behind me, as well as washer, dryer hookup, or more hanging space for you. Also more overhead for some smaller items as well. It is so nice to see an RV manufacturer trying something new. So many are designed the exact same way and Columbus has kind of flipped the script a little bit. With this class A styling, the amount of storage, the really nice features they put into this, the partnerships with top rate companies like Moride, it's just really cool to see. Now, if you're interested in this Columbus River Ranch, contact Paris RV in Payson, Utah. Their number's down below. They'll, they'll take care of everything for you. Remember to like, subscribe, all that sort of stuff, and let us know what are you thinking of these RV manufacturers trying something new, actually getting out of the box a little bit, instead of just the same old, same old. As always, thanks for watching, like, subscribe, all that sort of stuff, and remember, enjoy your weekend.